welcome back to today's video. My name is Isabel if you are new here and in today's video we're gonna do some makeup. So we're just gonna jump right into everything. Um, I will link everything I use in the description and I'm gonna walk us through everything today. My last video was like a sped up just my everyday glam look. A lot of you asked for a more in-depth tutorial and I've been getting a lot of questions on makeup lately. So we're going to start out with the Milk Hydro Grip because this is a must. I just self-tanned last night so if my hands look a little wonky that is why. I don't feel like they look that bad but um, I got a lot done this morning. I cleaned up my house. I got my kids to school. I did a workout. Um, what else? I did some laundry. I did, I loaded the dishwasher. Dishwasher is going right now. Olivia is taking a nap. So I'm just like in the zone. Okay, so for our foundation, I have a couple different ones. So this is what I've been loving. This is, I mean, so I've loved this forever, but it's a different, um, like, formula. It's their Dewy Luminix, Lumino, Lumini, um, formula. I love it. And then I, like, always just mix foundations. Like I said, I'm self-tanned, so I thought I brought my Anastasia up with me, but I didn't. So I'm just going to mix the Huda Beauty and the Wet n Wild. I have Huda in Baklava and I have the Wet n Wild in Desert Beige. So I'm just going to mix those on the back of my hand. So we're just going to blend to literally the gods. Like even after our whole face is covered, we're going to keep bouncing the beauty sponge onto our skin. So we're going to be here for a minute. All right, so I have this Anastasia concealer. I need some extra coverage down. I have hormonal acne. So instead of putting so instead of putting my bright bright concealer on that area to highlight and contour, I put um, kind of more of a a darker shade. And then um, I go in All right, so we're gonna let that sit and just sink into our skin for a little bit. You don't wanna start blending right away. Um, I just feel that kinda letting that sit and marinate really um, just the coverage is much better. So now, Miss Chanel. So I was like, so I've seen so many different people use the bronzer forever. This one is in, um, this one's in Tan Deep Bronze 395. Um, so I got this on a whim on Nordstrom because I follow these makeup artists on Instagram. Um, Kelly Ann and Melissa. I, I don't know her last name. Um, they are celebrity makeup artists and their makeup is just goals. Like... It's so, like, lightweight, but glamorous, but gorgeous. Um, it just looks, like, effortless. You know what I mean? Um, so I, they put stuff up on their stories all the time. And they're swearing by, like, they could not stop talking about this. Chanel. And I was like, you know what? This is my sign. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna get it. And I honestly, like... I can't, I just like, it just blends like an absolute dream. Can you see that? Like, it's just gorgeous. I always get under here for that contoured look. I went and, um, if you've been following me for a while, especially if you follow me on Instagram, I've talked about my double chin and it's like kind of just a joke at this point, but like, I just feel like it's like hereditary, like just like the like the 
I don't know, like a chicken gobble gobble or a turkey gobble gobble, whatever has a gobble gobble. And I went in for a consult. Oh my God, my earring's falling out. I went in for a consult to like see how much it would be to do not the Kybella, the um, like smart laser lipo or whatever. They do it like while you're awake, you're just under general anesthesia. And it was just like so much money that I'm like, I like can't. Anyways, that's besides the point. But now that that's been sitting on our face for three months, we're gonna blend. Really just blend everything together. I also have exciting news if anybody cares that I'm going on Accutane. I had shared that I was on a medication, which I'm still on, that I've been on since it's almost a year. It'll be a year in January. I've been on for my acne and it was like working and then she upped my dosage and then I was getting these weird side effects. So I stopped and now we're just doing Accutane. Like, I'm just like, I don't know why for so long it's like, we're trying to just like dodge, beat around the bush. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, why are we beating around the bush? You know, like I just, I know I'm gonna be 30 years old in a couple months. Like, I'm not confused about the fact that I have just like really like intense acne. Like that isn't just like, I'm not just like going through a phase or it's not that I don't take care of my skin. Like I take very good care of my skin and it's it's very defeating and it's like super annoying not being able to, com to combat the acne and i really thought i was on well i still am on spironolactone which has worked for so many people and like i'm jealous <laughs> but um it it's just not it's not cutting it for me so that is why we are doing accutane and I'm like so excited. I got my blood work done and then I'm gonna go back next month and we're gonna get started and like really, really do it. So I will take you along that journey with me for sure. All right, now this is my new favorite thing. This is my new favorite step. Because if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with blush, like obsessed. So I have this in the shade Blushing Berry. I just take it, it's literally like silk. It feels so good. And I just, did I, oh no. And I just blend it with my finger. I feel like the warmth like really makes it blend nicely. And obviously, like, I'm going to go all over all this with powder, but trust me, it just adds something. And you don't even have to, like, you could just set your under eye and, like, set your um, oily spots. Oops. And, like, keep it moving. Like, look how pretty. Is that not gorgeous? I'm obsessed. Um, I want more. Like, it's so natural looking and so pretty. So, that has been, like, my go-to. Like, this is my favorite step. And then we're just gonna continue to blend everything so we're not looking. I just also feel like putting everything on top of that, like, it all blends out so seamlessly together. Now, of course, what would be makeup without me, without my... Rimmel Stay Matte. This is a brand new one. Look at how gorgeous she is. So this is what I will use. Like literally bury me with this powder. Like bury me. I have it on my Amazon subscription. I have to set like my must my my beard area. I have to, I don't know how people don't set that area. Like, I have to. 
So I'm going to set this. And then we're going to come back. So next up, we are going to take this actual liquid gold. This is the Refi. You just literally need like a minuscule amount. And you're gonna look like an absolute greasy like fried chicken, but that's like what I wanna be. Do you know what I mean? Am I the only one? So this stuff is like you look wet. Like you like you need this. You need this. Like thank me later. You're welcome. Can you believe how like into these like liquid products I am? I never, I always, always veered away from liquid products and would just do um, powders. Because I don't know what about liquids. I just feel like it didn't give me the coverage that I was looking for because I have acne. And it's really hard, like I've said before, but like I feel like the style of makeup lately is very very um everything's like so natural looking and like you know um it's not 2016 anymore where everyone's wearing like a full um colored eye moment and like smoky eye you know what I mean I feel like everyone's going really natural lately so it's hard for me to find well, it's not hard for me to find now because I found some like amazing cream and liquid products. Um, so anyway, so now that I look like a greased up chicken nugget, we are going to bronze up a little bit with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in dark. So I really like this because it's not a bronzer. Um... It's a skin finish, so it has just like a really light consistency and blends really nice. And really cut that jaw. Had that double chin, baby. So I really like to bronze up the forehead. I don't know if anyone else. I don't know why I just like have to bronze my forehead so much. I just do. So really cut that that cheek. So before I do my brows, I'm just gonna set a little bit with my Huda powder. I'll tell you what color it is in just one second, but it's like <laughs> gonna fall all over the place. Do you just hear that? Is something like starting a fire? Did you just hear that? What was that? How spooky was that? Now, as you can see, I'm putting powder over powder. Um, that's like one of my biggest tips when it comes to setting your under eye, first of all, but really just like baking and brightening anywhere. Um, I personally, me, I know I see lots of videos with like people doing whatever, but I can't just go in with a loose powder. like my makeup just does not set I don't know what it is I don't know I don't know but um I have to use my Rimmel Stay Matte and then I go over it with a baking powder and this is in the color Cupcake this is all I need to do my brows I'm gonna fast forward through this part but I literally just line them and then brush through with the little brow gel side and I have this in Ash Blonde
Now I'm gonna hop, pop on my Hikari Blush in Desire. Um, I feel like this is literally my favorite blush ever. And I don't, where did my mirror go? Oh, did it. Why it's such a pain in the butt to find. I was ordering it. Well, the, I have this one in another color. And I got them off Amazon. And last time I looked, they weren't available on Amazon. So um, they have them directly from the site though. The Hikari site. So I'll link that. Um, you just need a very, very light hand because, um, it is extremely pigmented and it is extremely pink, if you couldn't tell. It's like hot, hot, hot pink, but I just feel like it comes out so pretty on the cheeks, especially, you know me, obsessed with the blush, um, and then I'll just pop it on other parts of my face. Now I've said before how I kind of like to do a darker blush and then I'll do a lighter bl blush closer to my eyes. So this is the NARS blush in Gaiety, which everyone like loves that Kylie Jenner kind of blush look. And I feel like this is what does that. I just have to put lip liner on my lips before I go any further. It just annoys me. Um, so this lip pencil is um, whatever walnut, right? Yeah, whatever walnut. And then I just have to use, this is my favorite and it's not being sold right now because KKW Beauty is like on a hiatus. But this color is 90s Glam. And just to give some dimension. And to give that, I like to fill. Fill in with this. And then of course, this is what I bring up, is my other KKW. lipstick uh it's in the shade 1.5 nude i know a lot of people already have these anyways but so i apologize for the sniffles i'm clearly a little under the weather if you couldn't tell so okay let's get into eyes um, as you can see, I'm going to let that sit underneath my eyes until I'm basically done with my makeup. So for eyes, I don't think we're going to do anything crazy today. Not like I ever really do anything crazy anyways. Um, but I can just give you some of my tips and tricks. Um, I'm going to work for the Amrezy palette, but really just any, we're just going to do all neutrals. Because who am I not doing a neutral eye every day of my life? Playing it safe. So, you can even use a bronzer. That's also a good crease shade just to kind of give some dimension to your eyes. And those warm tones because I feel like it makes my blue eyes pop more. Even though I feel like my eyes look kind of red today. I got some really fun um, contacts and I meant to put them in before I started the video, but we'll do those another time. So what I like to do is just grab, um, I usually use this shade 1988 um, to do a kind of a wing. Um, my eyes, I feel like I just want everything to be lifted and look really lifted and um, if I were to follow my natural lower lash line to go out it would kind of just like make them like straight across and I want them to look more lifted up so what I've been doing is I just you know go out on the edges and then I kind of close my eye and just
kind of um what am I doing I'm just darkening the outer edge and pulling that up do you see how that lifts my eye up so much so obviously I'm gonna blend that out but I kind of squint my eye and just um, fill in instead of doing like an actual wing I like to do eyeshadow first of all because I'm horrible at doing a wing and second of all um, I just feel like when you blend it all together it just looks really um, nice and not too harsh because if I were even to try to do a harsh a harsh wing and just would not work because I literally can't see how much that brought my eyes up so now I'm just gonna blend that another huge thing that helped me kind of pulling my face up is I basically cut not cut I plucked the end of my brow um, and brought it up to the end of my eye and instead of my eyebrow like filling them in and bringing them down they just go out um, and I feel like that's really helped lift as well so I'm just gonna blend that shade more and then just keep going back into it and you can put as much or as little as you want just keep playing around with it and blending it I'm gonna take a lighter shade and put that in the inner corner just keep going back and blending it I can't stress that enough that it just takes a lot of all right so i'm just going to take a break from my eyes and some highlight this is the laura geller gilded honey just got this brand new um water line eyeliner this is the Stay Awake, one's thicker and one smaller. So I'm just gonna line, open the eyes up a little bit. Now it's op optional, obviously, if you wanna add some faux freckles. I've been doing that a lot lately. I have freckles underneath all of this makeup, but I just think it looks really cute and pretty. I'm also just not dying for this lip color right now. I don't know what it is, but, um, a makeup by Ariel tip is to get a red lipstick. This is Ruby Woo. This is what he uses on Kylie. And to put it in the very center. And blend it out. For that natural... She cute okay um and i think i'm gonna put a gloss on so i have the dior lip oil in coral i'm just gonna put a little bit on top to give a little gloss and then we'll put mascara on i literally just put the tiniest bit on all right so i am going to dust away that under eye baking powder so I like to take this little brush and dip into my Rimmel Stay Matte again and just press where that powder was and set with this is the Benefit Professional. And then after I put my mascara on, I'm going to go get my hair extensions and we're going to do this like cute high pony moment. 
I really like the um, brightener, brightener under my eyes. I feel like it really opens my eyes up. Little tip is that my eyelashes are awful, first of all. But second of all, I do not go too far to the outside because my eyelashes go downwards and it will kind of like just bring the whole eye look down again. So I try, I mean sometimes it's, it is what it is, but I try not to go all the way to the end because I have blonde eyelashes. So if I don't put mascara on some of them, you can't. And for right now, I think I'm gonna leave the bottom bare, not put any mascara. So the makeup is finished, so pretty and glowy. And I'm going to go get my pony extension so we can snatch this pony that looks like a hot ass mess. 